I thought our guys hung in all game, battled, credit to Sacramento. They played very well. Um, another rough night for us from behind the three-point line on a lot of good looks for some guys that are very good shooters. I thought our guys stuck with it, continued to compete the entire night. Um, to be able to come back and take the lead there late, I thought showed a lot of resolve from our group. And, you know, it hurts at the end. You're one rebound away from potentially winning the game. And I thought our guys got their hands on the ball. It got knocked loose. Uh, I didn't think it was for... Come on in, man. Uh, I didn't think it was for a lack of effort, but... Sometimes those are the breaks of the game late. And that play, those late plays are always the ones that you think about the most because they hurt. But um, there's always things that go on throughout the course of a game that we can do much better to maybe not be in that situation at the end where you need things to all go right. So I'm glad we get to bounce back and play tomorrow. Um, but I think you know our group has continued to show toughness throughout the entire season. I think there's a lot of positives again tonight in our play. And as far as the three-point shooting, I think that's something that will turn around. I I like the threes that we took and the guys that took them. So, um, yeah, that's it. Both teams shot incredibly well in the fourth quarter. What did you like from your team offensively in that stretch and I guess conversely, what Yeah, I think we executed well down the stretch. I thought guys had good spacing. We um, executed a variety of different things, both on ball and off ball. And the guys did a good job of taking what the defense gave them. Uh, I thought Sacramento did a good job of trying to take away threes in general. And that allowed for our team to drive the ball a lot tonight and get a lot of stuff at the rim. And I thought the guys did a good job of that. Lowry made a, a couple tough ones for sure. but. You know, for them, I thought their guys made some tough ones as well. I thought Deer and Fox made some tough shots, um, but I, you know, I'm not upset with our defense on him for him to have 24 points on 24 shots. Uh, I thought, you know, Sabonis obviously hurt us getting into our body uh, in the lane, getting to his left hand. That was, uh, you know, kind of consistent throughout the game. I think that's one thing that we could have done a better job of was you know, defending him in the lane, but that's why he's an all-star caliber player is, you know, he's really tough to guard. He's very physical, has great footwork and good touch around the basket. Um, you know, Herter hit a couple tough ones as well. They're a good team. They're uh, That's a really good offensive team. They're well coached. Mike does a great job. So, um, yeah, that was, uh, you know, if you're a fan, you love that fourth quarter. A lot of shot making going on. But, um, you know, I'll have to go back and watch the film on our defense you know, I thought we can do a better job getting through the screens, but Sabonis is a great screener. Um, you know, De'Aaron Fox hit some tough ones for sure. What's the message um, after a game like this where you, know, you guys you know, a couple of times, a couple of pockets where they threaten to run away, you guys stay resilient, you stay in the game, like you said, you're one possession or one rebound away from winning the game, you lose the game. So what's the message? Uh, from you to, to the roster in, in a game like, in a loss like that where that can be so tough? Yeah, it's number one, it's just meeting head on that it is tough. And it's it's healthy that they're upset right now that we lost um, because they, they poured a lot of energy and emotion into that game. And I thought they, they really played hard. You know, I think it's about maintaining our approach. It's about maintaining our togetherness as a group understanding that the NBA, it's really hard to win. And when you play good teams, it's especially on the road, it's hard to win. And sometimes it, it does hurt at the end. But like I told you guys, I told them that it's not just those last two plays that are the reason that we didn't win the game. It's, uh, you know, there's stuff all throughout the course of the game that we can do a better job of as a group. Um, I thought you know, for the most part, we did a good job in transition, but the ones that hurt are when you, you score a basket and they get out in transition and they immediately get a layup. Um, you know, for them to only have 13 transition points, I thought our group did a pretty good job tonight of getting back, but, um, 
you know, we can we can always be better in that area. But the message in general is, you know, there's nothing we can do about this game now. And it's about us regrouping and getting to the game tomorrow in the right headspace, um, coming with a, a good collective mindset again uh, because we play a, a good Miami Heat team. When Mike picked up his fifth foul, it was right after he had a couple of really good possessions mm. in the ball and then also by kicking out and finding himself in the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, was the timing of having to pull him just especially difficult? Yeah, that, that hurts. Um, you know, Mike's gotten a terrible whistle the whole season on the defensive end. He's, uh, I think he's competing pretty hard, and a lot of those bang bang plays just have not gone his way so far. So, you know, he's he's maintaining his composure. He still doesn't have a technical in his career, which we're working on. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's always tough when you have to take out a guy who's one of your most important players when he's in a rhythm, but. There's a lot of times you guys have seen throughout the season that I'm happy to play guys when they're in foul trouble. But when you have five with 10 minutes or nine minutes to go in the game, that's a long way to go, especially when you're guarding Deer and Fox. So um, we tried to hold him out at least for a couple more minutes. But, um, you know, that that's why we're a team. And we rely on our depth. And I thought Colin played pretty well tonight as well. So um, everybody has to step up in those moments when we do have foul trouble. Deliberation there? No, we we have a replay behind the bench, and we understand, and the players understand that in the moment they think that it's not a foul. But when we look at the monitor, it's on our staff to determine what has the chance to be overturned and what doesn't. Um, you have to really be correct for the play to get overturned. So we that's where we have to separate the emotion of the moment that sometimes the players have and just tell them like I understand but we're not just going to burn our challenge to burn our challenge Lowry's a beast he's big strong athletic he got downhill he did a great job as a screener um, getting into the pocket getting on the rim. He did a good job cutting. His teammates looked for him. I thought he played very physical on the offensive end, um, which was uh, really great to see. And then once he got into rhythm, he hit a couple of those two-point jump shots over the top that he works on a lot. Got to his jump hook a few times in the lane. I thought it was a, you know, a, a sign of great growth that in a night when he doesn't have his three ball going, which he's relied on a lot, that he's still able to come up with 36 points. So um, I think tonight is really just a reflection of the work that Lowry puts in every day and, and his growth as a, as a scorer. Of course, you have an Yeah, I, I lean on those guys a lot. Um, they've played in a lot of NBA games. They've played in a lot of playoff games. And, you know, they understand what it takes to win in this league. And they're really not only helping echo the message from me to the rest of the team, but they're helping shape it. Um, they, they're guys that I have conversations with constantly about what we're doing. Um, how we're approaching things with our team and you know their leadership has been you know tremendously helpful for me as a first time head coach and I think their ability to communicate with some of their younger teammates has been a huge reason why our team has the vibe that it has um, our togetherness is based on our whole group buying into the fact that we're a team and that it's not about one person. And I think that really starts with those veteran guys. Um, they've been a great example for our entire group, um, you know, how to be a part of a team and how to sacrifice personal things 
for uh, the attempt to win games. Those uh, last two attempts the, with the final second of the game, is that how you drew it up? Were there other options, or was it kind of just try to get the ball to Lowry and well, the, go away? The fir- there were other options, but we got the ball to the first option on both of them. So um, I was really happy with that. The first one, Lowry got the ball on the elbow, made a great drive, and the ball got poked away uh, by Harrison Barnes. And the second one, we had a couple of options. Uh, deep corner is not necessarily where you want to be uh, on the last play of the game, but I thought the guys did a good job executing. Kelly threw a great pass to get Lowry the ball on the block. Um, he got to his turnaround that he shot very well this year. And, um, you know, I thought the guys executed well in those moments. Uh, those, those moments in games are, are very hard. The other team has just had a full timeout to talk about how they want to guard you and what they want to try to take away. Um, and obviously, you're up against the clock when you're down one. You don't want to wait for the last shot. We want to try to shoot something where we have a chance to maybe get a tip in if we miss. So um, really happy with how they executed those. Um, there were subsequent options to those plays, but when we were able to get Lowry the ball uh, initially, that's what we went to. Thank you. Thanks, guys.